What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Fortnite guide video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Paint a Tuna Fish skin and its newest update which lets you buy these extra character styles for this skin. Now the Paint a Tuna Fish skin to me, I think it's an incredible skin, probably one of the best customizable skins that we had ever. And because of the, the number of customization options with this skin is incredible. We got character styles, we got paint bottles that you could basically create your own version, which we will be doing here more on the channel. So be on the lookout for that. And then of course, today, in today's update, we got a brand new 21 more styles for tuna fish that we're gonna be going over how to unlock them in today's video. So it goes without saying that each of these styles do cause 15 paint drips. So you will need to accumulate at least 15 to unlock each and every one of these skins. So unlike the first page where all you needed was 10 paint drips, these skins need 15. And then on top of that, you also have to do a mission. As you can see right here, it says claim core in the battle pass, claim Fabio spark main in the battle pass, torn in the battle pass, JB chimp in the battle pass, claim carnage in the battle pass. You have to do that in order to unlock all these skins. You have to claim them in the battle pass first. Obviously you have the tier one skin so you could claim this one right away. And this one comes in 30 days, the same time we are getting the secret hidden skin of this season. So it's obvious that this is gonna be this style for that, what everybody is claiming to be the cube queen because this is the cube season. She's gonna be this season's hidden skin and Tuna Fish is also gonna have a style. Now these other skins on the battle pass are tied to different challenges and we're gonna be going over them here today. So for the fish stick styles, you have to discover fish in the collection book. The best way to complete this would be to go over to Party Royale or Creative Match, jump into something that you can fish nonstop without actually worrying about the storm or dying, add fish to your collection book. And if you don't know where your collection book is, you have to go into view quests on the play screen and then hit R1 to you go to collections and then press R2 to go to your collection book. As you can see, only got like four or five of these guys. So if you keep fishing, eventually this will just fill up with tons of different fishes that you can get at different locations, different time of night. If it's in the storm, out of the storm, there's a ton of conditions that you have to do in order to find these fishes. And how many you need? You need uh, 25, 25 of them in order to get this fish stick style. Is that the number of fishes? Do you need all of them? No, it's 50 fishes. So you need half of the fishes in the game in order to unlock this. So that's pretty cool. You don't even need to complete the fish collections. You just need about half, halfway in order to get it done. Next skin is gonna be probably the sweatiest here, the aura skin. And in order to get the aura skin, you need to spend bars. You need to spend at least 3000 bars. That should be easy, especially with the voting mechanic that they got in game that you could just drop in and just spend a ton of bars. I wish I would have known this before this update because I spent a ton of bars already and it didn't count towards this skin, which is unfortunate because the fish count that I caught in whatever this mission was, I'm gonna find out for you guys in a second, but this counted for another thing as well, but the spending bars didn't which kind of is unfortunate, but it's only 3,000. I should be able to do that within a couple of days, so I'm not too worried about that at all. Visit different landmarks. You need to visit 15. This is very easy. All you got to do is just either land at 15 different landmarks or just jump in a car and drive around to different places and to get this one chalked off your list. It's only 15 different landmarks. You should be able to do this within a couple of games. Consume forge items. You need to consume 50. My best plan on actually doing this is landing at the orchard, going to the little house, grab as much consumable items as you can, run either in the storm or just make like a little ramp where you could just jump down and take a little bit of fall damage and just keep consuming health items until you hit the 50 mark. 
Now again, it's worth noting that there's tons of places you can do this inside of the game. That's just my favorite location. But there are a ton of locations like Caddy Corner that's notorious to have a ton of consumable items as well as corny fields they have a ton of of lettuce there that you can consume as well so you can jump on and do that the sunny skin you need to complete character punch cards if you don't know what they are i currently doing a series where i go over each character punch card they're right here in the play you go to play you view quest and then you move over where it says quest and punch cards to the right with your directional button or with a mouse if you're on mouse and keyboard over to these cards over here. So if you complete these, this will go towards your sunny skin and unlocking that tune style for tuna fish, which again, all you need to do is complete 10. And I believe there's a ton here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. They did add a few in today. They added one, two, three, four. So they added four more in today. And yes, I will be doing videos on all of these. So be on the lookout for those. Now going over to Man Cake. This one is kind of interesting. You need to do 10 bounties. Now they didn't carry over from before this update, which is unfortunate because I always do bounties. And from my understanding, I was checking Twitter. They took bounties out of the game for a reason. I think something was bugged. Hopefully it does come back in soon so we can unlock this Man Cake skin. It's not one of my favorites, to be honest. I could have did without Man Cake. However, again, if you're interested, all you have to do is complete 10 bounties and claim that skin. The Dark Bomber. This one is pretty cool. I like it. I like the dark purple with the with the different tints of purple. I like the eyes. The eyes are pretty cool. I don't know. It's, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. In order to do this, you got to open chest in the sideways. Now, my recommendation, if you really want this skin, just land in the sideways, look for those chests and open them up. All you need is 20 chests, so probably, you could probably get this done in a couple of games. I, for one, don't really like landing at the sideways or even entering it during the game, so I am going to have to in order to unlock the dark bomber style for this. But again, while I do like the skin, I, I'm probably going to just unlock this one during the season with regular play, not actually going and trying to complete this one. Now, this one should be very easy to unlock. You need to craft different items. All you need is the bolts to craft an item. You craft five different ones, and you should be able to get yourself this cluck skyle for tuna fish. Not my favorite. Don't like the yellow. The black eyes is whack. Um, I'm no, 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 not for me, but to each his own. Let me know if you're rocking this in the comment section below. The Drift, one of my favorite skins ever, is getting a tuna fish style, and I like this. This is super clean, super clean. One of my favorites in this new more character styles page. And only thing you have to do to get this one is a very easy task. You need to drive a vehicle for the whopping. 25,000 miles or feet or foot. I'm not too sure, but you need to drive it. 25,000. You probably could get this done in a match or two, but Jesus Christ. I'm going to try to go ham to unlock this. I'm just going to land at a vehicle and just drive away and see if I can unlock this in one match because it's a pretty cool skin. I, I really want to run this. I, I really like the, the pink with the black. I think it looks pretty cool. One that I'm like, why are we getting? Because it doesn't look too cool, but uh, I guess this is a Joey one. And in order to unlock this one, you need to visit different alien crash sites. It's only three different alien crash sites you need to visit, which to be honest, is very easy to do. The alien crash sites are here the big chunk of the map like you see all these crash location here where they have like these big like flying rifts there's one down here by weeping as well so all you got to do is just visit these places and you should be good to go there's one down here at dirty docks too eliminate cube monsters now this is going to be a grind because you need to eliminate 200 of them and again i'm not a fan of the sideways i'm not a fan of going into those little rifts so, and to be honest, I'm not really a fan of this skin. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Zai when it was in the Battle Pass, and I'm not a fan of it now on Tuna Fish, to be honest. I do like the one eye being green and the other 
I being blue, but again, I'm not a fan of this at all. But if you want to unlock it and flex that you got it, you need to eliminate 200 cube monsters. Now this one, while it looks cool, it's going to be probably the hardest one to get. And that one, you have to defeat Cube Assassin. You only have to do it once. And again, to find Cube Assassin, you need to go into those rifts, those tears of the sideways, and last to at least the final round where one may have a chance of spawning. Now again, this one is very hard. It's a very rare spawn to find the Cube Assassin. I'm working on a video on how to defeat it, the best ways, the best tools. But I'm having very bad luck with actually defeating it in hell. Actually, actually finding a cube assassin is hard and tough as it is. Let alone being able to be fully kitted and defeated. And most of the times I'm playing solos. So they'll do that in a solos match where people potentially could jump in and kill you. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's a mess of a challenge. But probably going to be the hardest one to do. Now, and to unlock the Mecha Team Leader Style, which as you can see, I can unlock it right now, actually. Let's unlock this one because I actually like this style. This is pretty, pretty sick. Look at this. Colors everywhere. Pink shirt. Blue eyes. Let's go. This one actually looks pretty fire. Now, in order to unlock this one, as you can see, you don't really see the challenge down there because I already had completed it. But in order to unlock this one, you need to get all 21 color bottles, which kind of makes sense because of the fact that Kalu Team Leader is literally pretty much a rainbow version of Tuna Fish. So in order to unlock it, you would need all of these color variations. I already had done a video on explaining where all those color bottles were. So if you need help in finding each and every one of these color bottles, I will have the video linked in the description below, as well as on the pinned tweet comment of this video. I'm going to have that up there as well. And then the last but not least, you need to claim tuna fish character styles. You need 41. So from my understanding, this page has 21 character styles. I forgot to claim this one, to be honest. Not my favorite, but... 21 character styles, and then this one has 21. So it looks like in order to get this style, the Mary, I'm not even going to try to say that, but it's the Gingerbread Man Tuna Fish style, you're going to need 41. That is basically these two pages complete minus the the secret skin, which will made it 42 because it's technically 42 Tuna Fish character styles. So you got to need to do all all of these challenges as well as unlock carnage in the battle pass in order to claim this tuna fish character style which i think is pretty cool because by that time it should be christmas it should be one of the last things you want to rock because it's going to be around that christmas time if you are just daily grinding and haven't hit tier 100 you usually hit tier 100 around the end of the season then you probably will be getting this later on anyway and all of these missions should be done by then just in time for Christmas but I do love this skin this color combo is super clean I do love it so that is it for today's video let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on all of these paint uh, tuna fish extra styles that just got released today which ones are you going to be grinding for first and which ones do you think I should make a video explaining more in detail on how to get those missions completed very easily let me know in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day talking fortnite call of duty mario pokemon wherever i feel like dropping the vibes on i drop it here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving videos into recommended so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank Thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment 
on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.